Hey, holy moly. Um, wow, so I just uh, realized that my audio has been muted. Uh, and boy, do I feel stupid. Uh, but I can't just, you know, redo the episode because I already recorded it. Just didn't realize that I was muted. Oh, God. How embarrassing. This is what you do whenever you... Because I, I mentioned a little bit ago that I hadn't uh, recorded in a little bit. Oh, weird. So you gotta, like, find a thing to reset you. Stone Alchemist. Oh, someone, must, uh, someone left a nice comment that told me that, um, the traps are actually sprung by little, uh, wires you step on in the floor. So as long as you can avoid those. So I am correct to be jumping over them. Bronze key. Keys are always a, uh, pretty important piece of loot in any... Solstice. Ow. That hurt. Nice. Work smarter, not harder, guys. So, um, yeah, I certainly can't redo this episode because I killed that boss earlier. I feel like a real dummy about that. Archer trap to the left. Good note. Wow. So, um, I was talking about... I, I would just want to mention that, like... Notes are so good in these games. That's such a cool mechanic. 
Not enough people do those. Oh, what do you got to say? Trap. So one of the things that I was talking about... Sorry, I didn't know what was up with that Bayrel. So where is the... Hey, this is here. Of course. It all makes sense. To, the cat. What now? Hello. Uh, hi. <laughs> okay, word. Oh, we got skulls, boyos. Pitch fire. I think that's the blade buff. One of the things I was talking about earlier is the Krakian Cyclops, I believe, maybe pronounced. Krakian Kuklops. Trap. Thank you. That was a weird trap that I didn't understand. Uh, it may be pronounced uh, Kuklops. I was explaining that, like, there's a couple of words that I believe got messed up after Shakespeare. Um, like how Kaiser is actually like Caesar now, but that's not how anyone says it. What is that guy's deal, huh? Sack of salt and stone blacksmith. That's weird. What are you guys? <laughs> uh, hi. Yowza. Oh, huh. Well, just to save time, let's pop a bell of return. Because I've got a lot of those. Oh, man, this is unusual. Movie armor. And then I can get willpower, stamina, and then more endurance. That's all good. Love all that. So let's see if I, I can put this on. Okay. It's kind of meaty roll, but that's okay. So then let's see if we can ascend this hill. Praise the moon. So, sorry, I didn't want. I wanted to get that guy, but I had to. So, if my calculations are correct, this thing should be the same thing, and it is. Coolio, that's clever. Hmm. Bronze key. Interesting. Satchel of salt and outlaw great axe. Oh my god, was this ladder here the whole time? Goodness. Let's take a look at that. Can we use it? Hell no. It's too huge for us. You have to pardon my love of... Um, of swords. 
I know it's a little romantic, but I just love swords. Man, that guy is for real. <laughs> My plan failed. And then there's this edgelord in the corner over here. And then there's that wizard upstairs throwing shit at me. Man, this is a non-stop ultimate climax. Okay, was that him trying to teleport, or is that him, like, cursing me so when he dies, I get cursed? Ray of Searing. Wow, they're blowing me up with magic, too. And, I mean, I guess they should. I'm a couple hours in. I, um... I believe that that was a rope. Incorrectly, might I add. But I was convinced that that was a rope. So let me just say, with complete earnesty... Whoops. It's not really worth it to kill those guys, but I may as well, right? Oh, I gotta burn this gold, too, at some point. Because if I don't, then when I die, I'll lose a whole bunch of it, as opposed to a little bunch of it. I'd like to avoid that happening, you know? What are you? Ember Skull's Ashes? Okay, well, so what's this? That's a salt boost. That's an item drop boost. Maintain spellcasting past the point of exhaustion. Crystal moat. Okay. Plated band. Increases strength. Wow, that's useful. So this is will. This is speed. This is endurance. That's salt. I don't really need... Oops. Oops. I don't really need more, uh, like, juice for my abilities. Like, I don't need more salt. Oh my god, that... He... Did he just chew me? And I guess those things must be called Ember Skulls. Alright. Now, where's my salt at, fam? <laughs> okay, it's you. Okay, now what? The huge exploding light is always, like, so... talking about a huge exploding light, but that's not what I meant. Am I going to need, like, a wall hike for that? I imagine that I'm not going to do a thing where they just let me do that, like, little warpy warp wherever. Where I... What is it? The Vertigo brand? This is a pretty cool name for that. Okay, now I know that I've talked about Dark Souls a great deal, but... I find great similarities between this and Castle Drink Lake and DS2. Which is good. I like Drink Lake. Charred Doll. Ugh. Ah, they like cook you, man. Can't believe I had my mic muted. What is that thing on me? Oh, God. Impen Crest Ring. 
imp like an like an imp? Crest of Impin, the mythical Kraken of Flame. Impin was a fairy tale, but the magic in this ring is very real. Fire defense. Useful. Let me up, guys. This is not funny. Dude, my head is in there. Right. Was not two-handing there. That, uh, ooh. Dude, fighting, fighting the bats or these guys, and, like, you slice and they go past you, and then you turn and you slice and then they go past you. Ugh. It's implacable. Oh, yeah, there's that ska grunge that you love. And by sky, I mean the studio. Oh, God, I did it. I wanted to get out of the way of the thing, the beam. Uh, pardon me, sir. I wonder why they spelled Kraken like that. Who are you then? You made it. Oh, you're that. I think you're that samurai guy, aren't you? Still good view, stunning, isn't it? Heard there's a thief with what sounded like a useful rune. There's also the dragon that needs to be slain. You don't know where the buildings came from? Who built this castle? Does it have a master? I'm guessing that because I just unlocked a big ass shortcut and that there's an NPC telling me about a boss I haven't heard of, that the boss is probably up these stairs. Uh-huh. So how is it raining up there? The flow of time is convoluted in salt land. Seriously though, it's literally like just raining upstairs and not down here, it's snowing. Or maybe it's ashing or salting, but who knows. That's pretty close. Let's see if I can pop something. Okay. Pouch of salt. Ooh, damn. So then let's see about a level then, huh? Nice. I like that. You know I do. Uh, let's just go in. I don't, I don't really find myself caring about money too much. I know that I could just turn it all into salt and then... Like, you can buy salt items, which is kind of interesting. Like, in a game with this kind of uh, hybrid money and soul system. I think Neo was the first to do this. Certainly the first of the new generation of, like, post-Souls uh, games. Wow. I got teamed up on. Um, I th yeah, I think Neo was the first one to do this sort of thing. Um, and there's an interesting thing in Neo where you can buy bags of yen with your yen. And then when you use the bag of yen, it gives you your yen back. And so it's like 550 yen for a bag of yen. That'll give you 500 yen. And like, on the one hand, you're getting scalped a little bit. Damn it. But on the other hand, like, I guess you gotta pay for the bag, don't you?
Also, like, you, what you're really paying for is the convenience, like, in a game sense. My god, you guys. Did they get, like, tougher now that I unlocked the shortcut? Because I can see why they would do that. It's this, right? Good. Yeah, you just go up and then it becomes rain. Maybe it's just because it's the castle of storms. Hunter's gear. Oh. Useful. Like that. I like that a whole lot. And then this is that place. So cool. Good because I did kind of want to come here with all my juice. It's kind of weird that they have the whole mechanic of like you get hurt and it takes permanent health away from you. The Soul Series is no stranger to, you know, losing some of your big health bar. But I will say it does incent uh, disincentivize the player uh, making a like damage tank build. Um, I don't know if that was something that needed to be disincentivized, though. Who are you? Well, I guess the boss isn't up there. Whatever. I predicted one boss arena. I don't need to predict a second one. Sanctuary right. Again? I guess it's a little one, though. I feel like I'm spoiled for sanctuaries right here. Maybe just because it's like a church, or a, not a church, like a castle where people lived. There's a bunch of small churches within. Flame damage ahead. Yeah, I bet. Praise the lightning. Lightning. Caution, attacks with flame. Okay. And we got the Garsping Ring. What does that do? This would symbolize unending desire on the continents. Increases salt. Oh. So you can stack them. Interesting. Dark Souls usually does not allow uh, ring stacking. But I never really thought that it was that like good of a, th like that crazy of a, a thing to have. There's a cool mechanic in Bloodborne where, like, you can get multiple of the same thing and stack those all on. Kraken Worm. All right, makes sense. What? Oh, I guess this is why he would be fire aligned. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this fight. Okay. That may change how I feel about this fight, but it does not make the fight better. Um. Dragon uh, fights in Dark Souls have always been a point of great contention. Because they usually are just a incredibly hard boss with a lot of high, la high damage moves. Um, they usually rely on fire, which covers a lot of area at once. And then they have some kind of tail whip like that. Whoa! How do I...
This is unusual, to say the least. Like, you lose so much health for the, like, fire attack. Oh, God. Jeez. And, like, it also just makes you lose your permanent health bar as well. That's, um... I don't know how I feel about that boss. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's, uh, great. I guess I gotta respect myself for fire defense, though. All right, fire defense. Okay, fire defense. That one's high, oops. Looks like the blacksmith said might have the highest fire defense, which would make sense. You'd want to be uh, fireproof as a blacksmith. Usually stats are pretty consistent across. Fire, there it is. Stats are pretty consistent across one like piece of gear. and hood but for some reason I cannot wear it sorry sets are usually pretty consistent across uh, one set of gear so if you're just comparing a glove to a glove then you'll be able to get like pretty much the whole set based off of that that's a Dark Souls thing but I imagine it'll still work for this game um, but yeah, I might just come back and fight this guy later, because this might just be a DBS race with a boss with a lot of health and a lot of damage. Dude, that's, um, that's a uh, rough. Uh, I hate to cut the episode on a, on a low note, especially considering that this was only half of an episode, but uh, I think I'll cut the episode here just because. Uh, but I've had a good time. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, everyone have a good day. Thank you.